Hello, darlings. Welcome to this music video, music lesson video. <laughs> Welcome to the music room. Um, I hope you're all doing well. And in this video, we're going to be exploring some ways that you can practice the way, some ways that you can work on your musical interpretation. Um, and we're going to be exploring two things to help us with that rhythm and harmony. And we're going to use a cello drone as well to help us out. Um, so this video was requested from the Patreon group. Thank you so much. Shout out to my patrons. <laughs> um, and anyway, we're going to be looking at Bach's cello suite number three, and we're going to play it on the viola. Now I um, am really out of practice. I have to confess. So I know that it's not going to sound that great. I really do need to practice. <laughs> so um, we're going to be exploring a few little things in a, just a short amount of time because I do have lessons to teach today but I thought this would be fun. So we're going to take a look at box suite three, the Sarah band to start with, and I'm going to put a cello drone on. The um, cello drone just is always a nice little way to add some harmony, uh, like a tonality, that's the word, to your, um, to your practice. So this is in the key of C, so I've got a C cello drone on in the background, and we're going to just explore the rhythm. So I'm going to pretend that I'm a percussionist and that I'm going to just try and interpret this rhythm in the style of a saraband, which is in 3-4, it's slowish and it has a strong beat too. So um, the harmony when we add that's going to help us to add another layer of interpretation and kind of like, you know, right now we're just hacking off the, you know, the arms for the sculpture or whatever. <laughs> so the rhythm is going to help us lay down that foundation. So I'm going to just pick a C. And we're gonna play just the first two lines of this. So see if you if, if you like this interpretation or if you don't notice that as well. So just the rhythm. One, two, three. that it's not too terrible. <laughs> so one, two, three.
see that it is a little bit rough around the edges, but there's things definitely that, that need to be practiced in this. But right now we're trying to get an understanding of, of the musical line and the phrase so that when I do go back and practice, I know how I'm going to interpret things too. So let's go back to the beginning and see if we um, like the way that it's really sounding. So one more time through, there's also kind of a little four bar phrase at the beginning and a little four bar phrase at the end and we wrap it up at the end there. So let's try it again, maybe a little faster even. I'm not sure if I like this tempo. One, two, three, one, two, Three, right, and I'm not sure I even really like the bowings that I'm doing, but anyway, we're gonna just go with whatever happens. One, two, three. <laughs> one and of course this one is not in its like you know final state yet and on the repeat we might want to explore how we do things differently to transition into the second half of this but maybe we can save that for another day um i'm rushing a little bit because i have lessons to, to get to very soon so i want to do one more little exploration with you why don't we look at the beret beret number one and two um from the suite three as well so we're still in the key of c major the berets are like little dances and they beret one is in c major and then beret two um that looks like it's in like g minor there so um anyway we are exploring the minor key sorry if i got that completely wrong but anyway <laughs> they're major and minor so i'm gonna put a c drone on and why don't we do the same thing? So we're gonna explore just the rhythm. So the beret in the major, I'm gonna play it, um, I'm gonna try and play the rhythms in a more like um, happy and lighthearted and energetic way. And also given the time signature, it says it's in 4-4, but there's a line through it, which means we're in cut time, which means that rather than feeling one, two, three, four, we're gonna feel one, two, one, two three, four, one, two, three, four, right? It's a dance, okay? So from there, we've got dun, 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 So even just the way that we sing the rhythms, you can see that it's starting to kind of flow in a more musical way. So let's do something. I'm gonna pick the note E this time. So all you, all you like really amazing players out there, <laughs> just give me a little slack because I know that it is rough around the edges. There's so much that I could be doing. Um, but let's add the notes and see if when we add the notes and we keep that rhythmic interpretation, um, if we like it or if there's some other things that we might notice, we can tweak a bit. So here we go. Here we are with the notes. One, two, one, two. <laughs> Um, for 
two measures. So um, the way that it's visually written out is in two groups of four. Dun 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 dun. That definitely kind of goes with that two big beats, you know, in every measure. Um, but let's just notice what it sounds like if I do one measure rather than two beats in a measure. So I'm going to just emphasize the first note. Let's see what happens. Or do you prefer the two beat feel? Or maybe there's another way that you can think of that we can play through this, but um, all we're really exploring at the moment is the, the oop, there's a bird outside that's, that's unhappy. <laughs> we're exploring the rhythm and then we're putting the harmony on top. So we're trying to interpret the rhythm in an interesting and uh, meaningful way given the time signature and giving what the style of the, you know, it says it's a saraband or if it's a beret or whatever it is, you know, trying to, to convey that um, character and style in the best way that we can. Um, interpreting the rhythm and in, a, in a meaningful way and then trying to add the notes on top of it and when we add the notes on top of it that gives us it fleshes it out a little bit more so that we can understand oh the notes want to go this way yeah they do want to go to beat one or or actually they they kind of like or there's a breath right there or there's um, you know there there's something happening <laughs> you know so you can kind of hear that with the when we add the rhythm uh, and the notes I mean when we add the harmonies together so I've got to run, you guys. Thank you so much for listening to this little mini practice session. I hope this gives you some food for thought when you explore your music, however simple it is, however complicated it is. Explore um, the rhythm and the harmony and see if you can interpret those basic things, you know, in a way that makes sense. And then from there, you can make it your own. You can find you know, different bowings to do, maybe different fingerings to do, more dynamics that you can do, more musical directions or, you know, slowing, speeding up, what all that kind of thing, um, you know, to an extent. And yeah, if you like these kinds of things, let me know if you have a request for one of these that we can work on, you know, maybe like something from Suzuki or something from the Royal Conservatory of Music or the Cantigas book or whatever, you know, the books that I like to work with in my lessons. So um, we can definitely do that. Um, or if you want to explore Bach more like this, we can definitely do that too. Sometimes it's just really helpful to hear someone else go through some Bach and you really can tell what you don't like <laughs> and you can tell what you do like. And those are both really, really helpful. So um, anyway, thanks for listening and I will see you soon. And thanks for those of you on Patreon for this wonderful idea. If you're curious about Patreon, it's, um, I think the link should be down below. It's Violin Viola Masterclass. It's patreon.com slash Violin Viola Masterclass. And I'll see you all very soon. Bye. <laughs>